your air passage to East Africa. $3,000 and you hear the throb of native drums, see their exciting exotic dances. $3,000 for a trip to hunt the wild beasts of the dark continent. Safari in Africa. I always thought that these were places that preserved Africa as it had always looked like. This was some sort of window into the past. It's not, it's been produced in the last 40 or 50 years. And now Mama Laga, a Jokinia Lira Mwesi, need to remake Yolo Yard, Jokinia Mwesi. A more Rabu Banga Mwesi, never been grabby boring. Nan Nabala, Ben Mwesi, you will look happy, name Mariana Worongo, Menasano, a Rango to grab it in Mwesi. People have never consented into leaving these places. They were forced to move. So you have national parks precisely because the people who populated this, this landscapes are gone. You're creating a place that's going to protect animals, but also create value, which is absolutely necessary if all this stuff's going to work, because you have to attract investors to make any of this happen. As you know, tourism, which is very much buttressed by, by wildlife conservation, is now the largest, the number one foreign exchange earner for the country. So you can see how important the work that we are trying to do today. Yeah. Now this is the crucial element. The savannas we tried to conserve in our national parks were the end product of many thousands of years of people and wildlife. So when you take away those forces, you end up with a very different sort of national park. Our concern is that we as people need places still which are wild. So we can go and we can refresh our souls somewhere. Mara, what is it? Mikiara, what is it? I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be so 